Hi students, this video is to show you how to how to use the GitHub desktop app uh, to back up our files onto the GitHub in the cloud. Right, so uh, head to this URL and then download the executable for Mac or for Windows and then do the installation. Alright, and you will get something like this. This is the desktop app. Okay, next, uh, create an account in github.com. You can use your existing one and then uh, you may want to log in. Okay, right, so uh, let's look at our folder. So let's say I have this folder here. Alright, schoolwork. So uh, it's meant to put all the CDEV and DBEV folder. Alright, so this is a folder. Alright, so I'm going to uh, go to the desktop here and I'm going to choose options and I'm going to sign in. Alright, continue with browser. And because I'm already signed in here, so the web app is going to redirect back to the desktop app. Okay, and I want to create a new repository on the hard drive. Okay, so click on this one. So this one I'll call it lab work. Okay, and uh, all the lab. Okay, and I'm going to uh, choose the path which is the schoolwork. Okay, so the repository is going to create a folder here. All right, so select folder. Okay, I will just create repository. Okay, and uh, you can see that now this folder is created. Okay, but there's nothing inside, or rather, there's one file inside. Okay, so. Yeah, so we can publish now. Okay, so now the local repository is has been created. Now we want to so called publish it to the cloud. Okay, so publish repository. Uh, we can accept. Okay, lab work. Okay, everything. So over here we want to keep this code private. Okay, in time to come, uh, you can submit your project by including your tutor as a co collaborator for your project. All right. So publish repository. Okay, this one should be very fast because uh, your folder is very empty, extremely empty. So now if you go to your github.com, you can find that now you have another repository called lab work. And there's only one file here, right? Okay, there's only one file here. Okay, so now, uh, so, so imagine now it's week one and you are beginning to learn all the web technologies right and you are asked to create folder so right at this moment you can open folder okay and you can go to your desktop schoolwork okay so lab work okay so this will be the main folder okay so this is the main folder lab work all right okay so we want to be uh, so-called practice good organization of files and folders. So lab one, so maybe uh, we will create one folder called week one. All right, so a folder. Then inside this folder, uh, you are starting to learn HTML. So create one file. Let's call it index.html. Okay, and then uh, we put in exclamation tag. So we have a boilerplate for the HTML5. Okay, so save. Okay, and then you can start to uh, so called learn about the HTML. You can practice your HTML, and then you can go on and create. Uh, uh, maybe okay. So assuming week one is over, and now is now is week two, so you can go to okay. So so just make sure uh, click on the right file uh, to indicate where you are, and you create the folder. Okay, so new folder week two. Okay. So week two, maybe you are learning about CSS. So uh, my style dot CSS. All right. Okay, and then you can type in your CSS code. Uh, maybe I'll just put something like um, uh, anchor. Okay, for all the anchor tag. Okay, I think for CSS. Yeah. Okay, all the anchor tag. Then color color will be this color for example okay yeah okay save yeah so we got two files here okay so uh, if you launch your desktop app again then you will find that for this 
this local repository uh, this app is going to realize that there are two changes okay so these two files has been changed all right so uh, okay so over here you can put here the summary like uh, so called what are the things that you have done okay so maybe I put here week one and two okay so week one and two so these are the changes I made in week one and two then I will click on commit to main all right and then I will push right so push means uh, whatever committed changes you want to push to the uh, repository in the cloud so push origin okay then just give it a while so it's going to upload all the changes to the repository so now if you go to your repository right if you just do a refresh uh, you can see now you have two folder week one and week two and then uh, if you go to week one okay you can click on the you can see your HTML code here all right so this github uh, is going to serve as your backup okay of course github can do many more things okay such as version control such as uh, branching out different branches okay so uh, I'm not going into that so for that one you can uh, go and watch some YouTube video okay to do that okay so maybe uh, okay so assuming now uh, you are going to start your project all right so so let's repeat the process again so now what you want you want a new repository okay so this is your CDEV see that project okay okay see that project is fine okay so we are going to create the folder here schoolwork all right and then uh, click create repository okay and we publish okay so we keep as private pu publish it Right, so now you can see that we have one uh, online repository okay which is our see that project okay currently there's only one file I believe yeah okay so now if I go to my schoolwork you can see there's a folder here see that project all right so in, so assuming we, we are to start our I mean or you are to start your see that project development now right so uh, we have no need for this folder right so we can open a new folder yeah so we want to map to this folder select folder okay so this is my folder now and I want to start a node.js project so I make use of the terminal okay and then uh, of course assuming uh, node.js is installed so I can uh, npm init okay so it's to create a package.json file I can just press enter all the way all right okay then uh, according to the instruction given to you uh, you are to create some folder some file for example you want to create your first uh, server-side JavaScript file called server.js okay nothing here so we'll just put command okay this is the main JS file all right so save it okay so you can start doing your work and so assuming uh, at the end of the day uh, yeah you just want to back up your work online so you can now head over to the desktop app okay you will detect all the files all the folders that you have made changes or you have created okay and then uh, okay so you can put there the summary so maybe here you can put there what are the main changes you have done so so you can say uh, server.js okay so I uh, created the server.js okay and then we want to commit okay uh, committing means that uh, we are okay with all the changes that we have made to our local repository and then push means that we want to push all the commits okay to the github.com okay so push 
and it is done okay so now if you head over to github.com right do a refresh you can see uh, you can see all your files right the package.json uh, and then the server.js okay which is only one comment here okay so in time to come of course uh, there are going to be more files here right in fact your entire project so uh, if you want to submit your project using github.com uh, we are allowing this option so you can go to settings here and then you can go to manage access all right and then you can invite a collaborator so over here you can put in your tutor email address so for example uh, this is my email address okay and then uh, you will invite him to go and uh, so-called assess your all your source code okay so you add all right so i hope uh, you will uh, religiously use github.com to back up your files because as an IT student uh, the last thing that we want to hear from you is that you did not back up and you lost all your files so that is totally unacceptable alright so uh, thank you for watching this video